So in this section, you're going to get a set of variables that are going to be changing. You can see them here in the SOLIDWORKS sample exam for the CSWP. And these are going to be the main values that are going to be changing. There will be also changes to the models, but if I look into the drawings for this part, you can see different sections are labeled with those variables. For example, A is here, you have B and C. Your value for D as well as E and X and Y. Now SOLIDWORKS has several suggestions. It says you can use linked values or equations or use dimension labels. So for example, if I create a drawing on the top plane and give this a dimension, I can label this dimension as A and that'll help you remind you that this is your A dimension. And this can pretty easily be brought into a design table if you want as well and you can make your updates from there. This is not the method that I typically use and I'm going to suggest something a little bit different. So if I go into equations and choose manage equations, you can see that there's options to suppress features, add very specific equations, or add what's known as a global variable. And a global variable is just some name that you give this that stores a value or an equation. So just like we had in the sample exam, if I wanted to define A, let's say as 200, I can do that. And then I can define a B, and I just have to hit enter, and this is going to take me straight into the next box. And this is typically going to be the fastest way to define all these variables and keep track of them. So I'll just go ahead and give these arbitrary values, and I'll just create four. So now these are stored in my equations folder as global variables. And I can access them through the smart dimension command inside of my sketch. So I'll go ahead and create a few smart dimensions. And to add an equation, all we have to do is use the equal sign. In past years, if you're using 2011 or earlier, there was a pull down to add an equation. Now it's simply using the equal sign. You can see if I say equals, it's going to give me a list of functions, properties, as well as the global variables that I have stored. I can also simply just type in the name of the global variable and then click on it and it's going to bring it in. What you want to be careful of when you add in the global variable is that you don't just add in A because this will assign the dimension to this smart dimension, but when I go to update A, this isn't going to update because it simply translates over that value of 200 millimeters. So I have to use an equals A, and you can see the equation sign right next to the 200. That means when I update my global variables, that value will update. I'll go ahead and make this equal to B. And then I'll go ahead and just add an arbitrary circle here so I can add in those other global variables. And next to the global variable, we could just as easily add in some sort of operator, for example, divided by 2 and it'll create that equation as well. So 
So now I'm going to go ahead and show my feature dimensions so we can see how these update. And we can go ahead and just go into Manage Equations. and make a quick change to each of these dimensions. And you can see there's a slight lag on the update to these equations. And there's a slightly quicker method that I'll show in a second that will save you even more time if you want. But it's not absolutely necessary for passing the CSWP. So you can see all of these values have updated. As soon as I exit the equations or the manage equations option, my part's going to automatically rebuild. Now I did mention a slightly quicker way to manage this. We can go ahead and export the equations if we want. I'll go ahead and just export these to the desktop and then we get an option to export all of our equations and I'll go ahead and remove out the dimension equations we have as we won't need to update these at all. So now if I pull up that equations text file, I can see I have all those values. And if I go into the manage equations, you'll notice that these are now grayed out as they're linked specifically to that file and they will only update from that file. You could always unlink these if you want. And now if I make a quick change to my document, and save this out, when I rebuild my part, it's going to automatically update. So if you want a slightly quicker option of updating, Otherwise, it's easy enough to just come into Manage Equations and update each of these values individually. You could also bring these values into a design table. I won't discuss that option because I think this one is quite a bit faster for the CSWP than going to the length of creating a design table. But managing the variables in this manner will allow you to quickly update each question within the CSWP Section 1.